Greetings folks. I've had a few questions lately about the motor mount for the Phoenix 2400, most recently from Dollar Bill Clinton. Thanks for the question, Dollar Bill. Uh, so in this video, I'll show you how the motor mounts in there. Uh, it's a bit tight and squeezy to get your fingers in there, so it's probably a good idea to take out this plywood battery um, mount there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. It's uh, not too hard to get it in and out, so don't be too concerned about it. And there's just six little screws on the side here. There we go. A little bit of tape holding the AC wires down. That's why I couldn't get the motor out. So, okay, now we've got the motor out. And you can see it's a sort of a, a wide bell-shaped motor with the shaft sort of coming out the bottom. So that's the way it mounts there. Now the motor itself uh, has these four mounting screws like that. And they mount into this plastic disc which then mounts onto the bulkhead uh, on the nose of the Phoenix. So we'll I'll just remove these bolts to show you. You don't want these bolts to come out. And if your motor is wobbling around, that could be the reason. Although another viewer uh, had a motor that uh, the shaft was actually wobbling, wobbling around. So that, that sort of dodgy bearings, I think. But they're reasonably cheap and easy to replace these motors. So. Uh, you can get them on Banggood or wherever you buy your Volantex models from. And if you get the kit version, I guess you're going to have to buy the motor and sort out the mount as well. So there's the bolts are off. I've got a cover over the ESC wise. So there's the little plastic sort of transfer mount. That's the motor by itself. If you're starting from scratch, first step is to bolt the plastic mount onto the motor mount, which is the exact reverse of what I've just done. So let's just do that. So because that loop there hooks around the ESC wires, there's really only one spot that the motor mount is going to fit into with the holes lining up. So just find that. It's best not to use Loctite with these sorts of mounts because Loctite uh, destroys plastic only for use on metal to metal. Make sure they're nice and tight. All right, done. All right, so now we put this part into the plane facing that way, and that's the front. So now we have four screws, the front metal plate, and the motor is sitting in there. The only way you can locate the motor is by holding the ESC wise, so this is going to be pretty difficult. So what I've done is, I've, without the plate on, I've actually located one of the holes. That'll give me a better chance of getting it lined up with the plate on. Let's try that. So if this screw catches in the hole, we're doing well. Alright, so I can take that one out now. Hold the motor still. Put it back in. Yeah, we're in with a chance. There we go. So the hassle is trying to locate those holes on the inside of that plastic disc with a motor that keeps wanting to spin, but we're good now. <coughs> there we go. That is the motor mounted. And now all we have to do is put the battery platform back in. That should just locate itself pretty well. And you can actually see where the screw holes are there, which is good. And then the prop adapter goes on. Tighten up the prop nut and put the little nose cone back on. There we go. All done. 